are again, we're turning back to the Born Reviews. I am doing the second one now. The first one is on my channel. Go watch that video. The first one was one of my favorite movies of all time and one of my favorite childhood movies growing up. And now we are entering into the sequel, which in my opinion, I will tell you the truth, I like the first one more than this one. That is the truth here. The Born Supremacy. So this is the sequel to uh, the Born Identity. I'm just calling it Jason Bourne. That's happening at the end of this month. I'm so excited for that movie. So I'm continuing on my Jason Bourne reviews, and now we're in the second one. And I have to say, after watching this movie, it's it's a good movie. It really is. It's a good sequel, but it is not as good as the first one, in my opinion. But we will explain that. So again, before I start this review, I forgot to say this last time. This will contain spoilers of the film. If you have not seen The Bourne Supremacy, I do recommend it. It is a really good movie. Please watch it. So now let's talk about it. So basically this movie picks up with Matt Damon or Jason Bourne in uh, like Israel or something like that. Not Israel. Is it, is it? I think it is. It's somewhere far away, 4,000 miles away from America. He's alone. He, in the last movie, said, I'm leaving. I'm going away. Do not follow me. Do not come and get me. And what happens? Marie gets killed from a Carl Urban, and he is now framed for being in Brazil and killing two people. And now Jason Bourne needs to kill Carl Urban and find out his Heartstone. Is it bad? Is that organization bad? Because in the first movie, Jason Bourne he closed down the organization. Brian Cox he shut it down. It's over. And now this new lady who is um played by Joan Allen who comes and says, "Hey." Jason Bourne killed two of my men, and we and we know he used to work for your old organization, and we're going to work together. Even though they have great tension, they have to work together to defeat Jason Bourne, because Jason Bourne is going after this new organization run by this Russian guy with oil and all that kind of stuff. That was a lot explained. But overall, this is a good movie. It's really good. So this time, it's directed by Paul Greengrass, who's directed Captain Phillips and Bourne Ultimatum. We'll get to that net this week. Next week, we'll talk about that movie. Anyways, the movie's really well directed. There is one scene in the beginning. It's a scene where it's a fight scene in a house with Jason Bourne. It's, the, it's what's really cool. The guy has a knife, and Jason Bourne has a magazine, and he beats his butt with it. It's awesome. But yeah, um, that scene, it's really shaky. Like, I mean, like, the first part of the fight, it's really hard to tell, and then at the very end of it, when they move into, like, the living room, whatever, and they start choking each other out, then you can actually see what's going on. But that fight scene was a little bit shaky. There's a few parts of this movie, like the ending car chase, little few times you're not understanding where everything's at. So overall, the directing is good, but it is really shaky, and it's, it's kind of like the beginning of the evolution of shaky cam, but it is also called handheld cam. There is a difference. There's handheld cam and there's shaky cam when you just do this. Hey, guys, I'm filming an action scene. Oh, I'm going to show the camera more. Okay. That's shaky cam. Handheld cam is like actual hand on the thing, and you're following that person doing that. It, it just involves shakiness, but it's handheld pretty much. Overall, Paul Greengrass, he does a really good job. Now, Matt Damon, he continues to be great as Jason Bourne. In this one, he doesn't talk as much. I noticed that. In the first one, he talks the whole movie. And this one, he's like the Terminator. He kills and he's a bad A. There's awesome, there's awesome, awesome car chase scene at the very end of this movie with him and Carl Urban. It is awesome. I love that stuff. Now the stuff with Brian Cox and him and his organization, I love that stuff. I love the scene where Brian Cox, you find out he's a traitor. He's working with the bad guys and he kills himself. I love that. I love when Jason Bourne comes in his hotel and he's like, I'm not gonna kill you because Marie want me. To, she want me. Want, she would not want me to do that. And so he doesn't kill Brian Cox, but ends up he ends up shooting himself. And then they stop the organization before they go up and up in arms or anything. But I love the third act when Jason Bourne. It's Carl Urban, and it's the car. It's the cop chasing Jason Bourne, and Carl Urban chasing Jason Bourne, and he's shot. And it's one. It's an awesome ending to this movie. And I love how he's framed for something he doesn't, like, they all think he doesn't remember it, it's okay, we messed him up, he doesn't remember this. But really, he wasn't in Brazil. He didn't kill his two people. Carl Urban, they set him up. And he remembers something else in the past, which leads to him finding out that he killed a family. And the very end of this movie, it's really emotional, he goes to this girl's house and he says, I'm sorry, and I'm the one who killed your mom and dad. And that's how the movie ends. I'm not even kidding. The movie literally ends with him getting a bloodshot, and then it ends with him in New York, and then he finds out what his real name is. It's like David Wimp, David Wim, something like that. He finds out his name, and then it ends. It ends like that. And the movie leaves you open, so that means in the next movie, he's going to find out his real self. Not Jason Bourne, 
his real self. And that's where the third one leads into, and that's when I'll start. That's when we'll review the next movie. But overall, The Bourne Supremacy is a thriller movie. Jason Bourne, Matt Damon as Jason Bourne, is an awesome casting. I love his character. The movie has great action scenes. It's a little shaky, and in my opinion, Jason Bourne wasn't well developed. This movie is not a characteristic action movie like the first one was. This one is straight up a thriller action movie. Brian Cox is really good in this movie. Joan Allen, she's really good in this movie. Matt Damon's really good. Everyone in the girl who plays Nikki is really good. Everyone in this movie is really good. The script is good. The directing is good. It's a little bit shaky cam and all. But overall, it is a good movie. And that's why I'm going to give it a solid A. I do like this movie. I think it's a good sequel. I, in, my opinion, in my opinion, I do like the first one more because you just kind of feel for the characters more and you actually, like, it's, in a, it's a really good one story note. This is a sequel and they have to, like, expand this. And it's, it's a good story. It's a really good story. Setting him up for something he didn't do and then he figures out, oh, wait, I was in Brazil one, at one point in my life. And I love that. And I just, it's a really good movie. I, re I do recommend this movie. If you're going to watch them, um, watch this one, not The Bourne Legacy. <laughs> But overall, I like this movie. Anyway, guys, I will probably review The Bourne Ultimatum sometime in the next few days. I promise. I gotta get that and The Bourne Legacy out before next or two weeks from now. Anyway, guys, enjoy this review, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys!